Hey all, hope you all are doing good. I have been really focused on making my home feel inviting again. You know how it is when you have a baby. Last two years just went in pregnancy and adjusting with the tiny human in our lives. This balcony is attached to our living room and I wanted to clean and decorate it a little. My house help cleans these things from time to time. Yet whenever I clean I feel like this space has never been cleaned ever. God knows what she does. I'm sure many would be able to relate. Today I'm also going to repot my pothos plant. This repotting from time to time is necessary to make sure your plants grow well. I have also inserted a creeper rail onto the pot so that I could creep my pothos upwards. By the way, according to Feng Shui, it said not to let your money plants touch the ground while it grows downwards. Not sure if it's actually so, but I'm doing it purely for decorative reason. Make sure you water your plants after you're done potting. It's also important to clean the leaves of the house plants from time to time. This helps to get rid of dirt and it not only makes the plants shine but it also helps in better growth. For cleaning I have used water along with few drops of dish soap. Pruning is also an important part of plant care. It helps in improving the plant's structure and it directs new healthy growth. I have also bought few hanging planters. I got this wooden wall hanger to hang the pots on them. This Buddha is a gift from my friend and it has got a beautiful place now. This fiddle leaf plant which I got from Amazon is my recent obsession. It looks beautiful and I hope I can care for it. We are in love with our new simple setup. This looks so inviting and definitely my favorite place to relax from now on. In between all this, Jude had to go for his shower. We take him to a center named Wiggle Waggle which is very close to our place. He's been going there for quite some time and they're quite good. Come Jude. Come Jude. Come 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 come. Come. Mujhe chhodo chhodo mujhe chhodo mujhe bahar jana hai chhodo chhodo. Bye-bye.
Meanwhile, I'll finish up with my plant care. I have to repot two of my plants today. These plants haven't been growing well, so I decided to repot them with some fertilizer and manure. Let's see if it works. I'm using this fertilizer from the brand Lazy Gardener since I have heard good reviews about it. I hope it works. Here's a hack to revive your cactus from root rot. Just cut off the rotten part with a knife and keep it in a shady spot without mud for a few days to a week. In a few days you will see some roots had started to come. Then you can repot it back. By the way, today I will show you how to propagate snake plant. It's very easy, you can take any new leaf from the plant. It does not have to be from the roots. Then just take the leaves, make a V cut on the leaf and place it in water. Let the roots grow before you plant it in the soil. Remember to change the water every 3 to 4 days. Only challenge is that it takes about 2 months or so for the roots to really pop. I will update you on this in my coming videos. I will arrange all my gardening supplies in a box and keep it in a cabinet. This way it's easy to access them when required. Zane hasn't been keeping well. Initially me and Parth we got a viral and then now Zane has it I guess. We took him to the doctor two days back and we were waiting for the medicines to work. We also tried some homemade remedies and it looked like he was getting better. I have soaked dosa better this morning. I will grind it now. By the way, I had invested in a wet grinder since uh, dosa or idli is a common breakfast in our house. But then I eventually returned it since it didn't work out well for us. It wasn't something I was expecting or not sure if I wasn't able to use it right. It was quite heavy and the cleaning seemed a little cumbersome too. So to the batter, I have also added 1 cup boiled rice and some salt. I will give it a good mix and let it ferment overnight. How pretty this area looks with these lights in the evening. I'm going to make some bread pudding. I had this bread which was lying in my counter and before it went bad, I decided to use it up. Because we need to cut it into pieces and grind it into a powder, it's best to use old bread and not fresh one. In a bowl, I have taken 4 tablespoon custard powder along with some milk and I will mix it well. In a pot, I have put 1.5 cup milk to boil. Then in a pan, I will add 1 fourth cup sugar and let it caramelize. Once it's caramelized and browned, immediately pour it into a 6 inch pan. Then add the custard powder mix to the boiling milk and give it a good mix. Let it boil and thicken. Once it's thickened, add the bread powder to that and mix it well. Then add it to the pan with caramelized sugar. Cover it with an aluminium foil and let it steam for 20 to 30 minutes.
I'm also going to make some spinach pakora. The plan is to have it in the balcony with some coffee. In a bowl, I have added some besan along with some jeera seeds, salt, turmeric, red chilli powder, and three tablespoon of rice flour. I will also add the chopped spinach, onions, and chopped green chilies to the mix now. I have planned on making dalgona coffee for the first time. This reminds me of lockdown days when this coffee had gone viral. Since Zane was sleeping, we managed to relax for a while. For dinner tonight, I am making creamy mushroom spaghetti along with Caesar salad. So in a pan, I will fry the mushrooms first and then add some butter and chopped garlic along with 1 tablespoon of maida. To that, I will add some milk to make the sauce. I will also add some oregano, red chilli flakes and 2 slices of sliced cheese. And then I will add the mushrooms and boil spaghetti to it. For the Caesar salad, I will add the cut bread pieces to a bowl along with some olive oil, salt and oregano. I have baked that for about 10 to 15 minutes at 150 degrees Celsius. For the dressing, I will add some olive oil along with minced garlic, mayo, salt, pepper, lemon juice and mustard sauce. I will also add shaved parmesan cheese to the salad bowl along with the dressing and give it a nice mix. And that's it, dinner is ready. Kaya loves all this fancy food. I highly recommend you to try the Caesar salad. It's really good. The bread pudding was also quite tasty. I will keep the leftover pudding in the fridge and end the day here.
it's the next day it's six in the morning and kaya's school has reopened so like always i'm rushing to pack her lunch box I'm making her this bread roll ups. I rolled the bread flat and applied some cream cheese on it and then I have peeled slices of cucumber with a peeler and I will add that to the bread. You can also add carrots for some color. I was out of carrots. And this literally looks like mini sushi rolls. I'm also packing her some corn rice with sorted beans and mushrooms. Kaya didn't want separate lunch boxes, so I packed her all in one lunch box. For the corn rice, I added some butter in a pan. Then I have added the boiled rice and corn along with salt and pepper. For the sorted veggies, I have added some minced garlic. Then I have added boiled beans and mushrooms along with one tablespoon of soya sauce. I also gave her a slice of bread pudding from last night. I gave her some chips as a side with her rice and some cut apples for fruits. After dropping Kaya to her school bus, we usually prefer to go for our usual morning walks. We mostly don't skip it because of Jude. He really looks forward to this time of the day. So whenever we can't go for walk some days, I feel so guilty about it. For breakfast, I'm making paneeram. So to the dosa batter, I will add chopped onions, green chilies, coriander leaves, and salt. You can also add grated carrots and curry leaves. Alternately, you can fry these things in a pan before adding it to the batter. I skipped that step because I wanted to make things easy. I'm also going to make a spicy tomato chutney to go with it. I don't make this very often but it's really nice the crispy texture on the outside and soft inside plus that spicy chutney the combination is very delicious
Our day didn't go as planned. Zane's cough got really bad all of a sudden and we thought that something wasn't right. So we immediately rushed him to the hospital. He was rushed to the emergency room and he had to be given an IV for antibiotic dosage. Basically this time the viral he got was too bad and the oral medicines apparently wasn't working. Antibiotics when given through drip works faster. It was so painful for us to see him like that. We can't really do much about these things in life. It's out of our control. It's a part of their growing up, I guess. It was so difficult to put the drip since it didn't keep his hands steady. After the first dosage, it was two injections which had to be administered in two hours time. He felt much better. When we were home, his crying stopped, he walked around, he was no more lethargic and he looked happy comparatively. But there's more to our story. I wish life was so simple and predictable. Zane managed to take off his bandage and I guessed he took his cannula off too. I somehow managed to replaster his hands. Unfortunately, it didn't work. His cannula was out and we had to rush him again to the hospital for replacing the cannula. This time they put it in his leg, hoping he won't remove it. After we were back, I gave him some dinner and put him to bed. He was also advised some inhaler for making his cuff better. Motherhood is indeed the most difficult in every aspect. It's like to watch your heart walk around outside of your body. Back to the kitchen to cook dinner. Though I was very upset and didn't want to do much but I have two older kids to look after too. <laughs> I'm making something really quick and simple. I call it our comfort food. Some soupy dal, alu mash some veggie fry and boiled egg. And that's it for today's one. Zane is much better now. Though he removed the canola in his feet the next morning, when I woke up, I found him chewing on his canola. Thankfully, the needle they use is made of some plastic material and not actual needle. Anyway, thank you for watching till the end and I will see you with a new video really soon. Bye.